Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, I know we are a bit behind. I want to apologize, but it's been this crazy wave of consultations that we're just trying to keep up at this point. Um, so anyways, for those of you guys that are trying to get private readings, now is the time to reach out as we are quickly booking now for the month of June and July. Just putting it out there and letting you guys know. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Libra. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance for the beginning, sorry, for the end of May, beginning of June 2020. Now, before I get into your reading, Libra, I just want to let you guys know that when shuffling the cards, um, Spirit was communicating, uh, having the need or perhaps if you've been feeling lately extremely emotional, like you're overwhelmed or a feeling of unsatisfaction or unhappiness in regards to love and romance, what they were saying is that it's very important at this present time in this cycle of your life, Libra, to learn about self-love. This is very necessary for you. I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is a feeling of wanting so badly to give your love and devotion to someone um, and at the same time for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship you are perhaps even feeling like a bit desperate like the more you give the more love you give the more compassion and understanding the more difficult it is or it almost feels like they kind of slip through your hands and what spirit was saying is that it's necessary to pour all that love, to pour all that desire of giving love to others, to give unto yourself, Libra. Uh, this is a cycle that you're going into that is about self-love, self-growth, and self-expression. So for some of you guys, you may be feeling like you're very, like you're really connecting to either music, to poetry, um, even to, you know, watching certain movies, you get all emotional. What they're saying is that there is this burst of energy that's flowing through you that you can actually use to your advantage, putting that emotion, pour, pouring basically all that emotion into something on a creative aspect. And that's not only going to help you in releasing that stress or that frustration, but it's also going to really kick off, especially for those of you guys that are, as an example, are authors, those of you guys that create music, those of you guys that do music, it's really going to inspire you and take, take your gifts to a different level. So again, really tap into that energy. And like I said, what they were telling me was that for you Libras out there, self-expression is something that is going to be very important for the month of June. Now, this could be expression in the sense of like really being vocal about what you want and what you don't want. For others of you, those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, it could just mean learning to speak up. Stop being so afraid that you're going to upset your partner or that you're going to, you know, make them mad or that they're going to feel some type of way. You need to learn to express your thoughts and your feelings without feeling any remorse for being completely honest and transparent. Okay? All right. <laughs> that was a long spiel. Um, but when shuffling the cards, that was exactly what Spirit was speaking um, through me. And I just felt that it was very important to put it out there. All right. So Libra, in regards to love and romance for you, you have illumination, taking risks, and thriving. Okay. Now for partners cards, they have flexibility, courage, and getaway. Okay, so you have a few cards that remind me of the reading of Pisces. Um, I think it was Pisces or Cancer, one of those. Um, so if you are dealing with the Cancer or a Pisces or water energy, definitely go check that out as it could resonate and connect uh, stronger to your reading Libra. Okay, so illumination and taking risk. Illumination speaks about not only on a spiritual path, but really understanding how the universe works, really understanding what it is that you continuously keep pull, uh, pulling towards yourself, perhaps experiences you continuously feel that you keep going through. 
So it could be pulling towards you people that are unemotionally available. It could represent pulling people towards you that are just not ready for commitment. Or it can also represent that you yourself, Libra, have a tendency to run away from things when things get a bit tough when it comes to relationships. So there is a need for you to go within yourself and try to figure out, is it your partner or is it yourself that your defensive mechanism kicks in and you kind of either check out of the relationship, don't want to deal with it, or literally run away from the relationship. There is a need to take a risk in your situation, Libra. In order for you to get a different outcome, you have to try a different approach. It's completely chaos and craziness if you continuously keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. And this can also include being attracted or being pulled towards the same type of person or the same personality. In order for you to get a different outcome, you need to take risk, which means getting out of your comfort zone, which means even challenging yourself to give an opportunity to people that you won't necessarily either find attractive very quickly or that they're just not the typical person that you would open up to or that you would be interested in dating. What they're telling you here is that you need to stop making the same mistakes from the past. And in order to do that, you have to keep an open mind and an open heart. Only then will you be able to thrive and truly experience fulfillment and happiness in a long-term committed relationship. Now, for those of you guys um, that are currently dealing with a partner, flexibility is something that they lack as they have the flexibility card here and it's uh, feeling the energy in reverse position. So this could be a person that is stuck in the mud. This could represent a person that is stubborn, that doesn't know how to, um, doesn't know that it's a two-way street. Uh, it's almost like a feeling of entitlement, a feeling of it's my way or the highway type of type of energy and if you're currently dealing with this person or this is your partner uh, if you are in a long-term committed relationship I think that it's very important to be patient with them because part of the reason why they feel this way or why they feel entitled or why they feel that it's always it has to be always their way or the highway is because there's lack of courage here meaning there's a lot of insecurity issues that they're dealing with and this could be from past relationships that they're carrying on, but this can also represent the lack of courage, meaning perhaps they're not so trusting, perhaps they have mistrust issues, perhaps they're extremely jealous, perhaps they doubt themselves and reflect that to you, making you feel like you're less than, but in reality, it's because they feel that perhaps you can do better, or they feel in some shape, way, or form that they're not enough for you. And again, it has more to do with their past relationships. Now, the getaway does speak about pulling away or walking away from a past behavior. Like I said, if you guys are dealing with a situation where the partner is either very stubborn or is very self-absorbed, there is a need for you to pull away from that type of energy, Libra. And the only way to do that is to understand fully what it is that you've created as a defensive mechanism do you connect with people that are at a distance because in some way you're kind of protecting yourself from the fact of if you're being around that person often there is greater chance of them hurting you versus not connecting such on a deeper level that if you keep yourself at an arm's length you're kind of protecting yourself if that's the case then again you need to give the opportunity to people that are more around you or that are more accessible so that you can, you know, move forward in the sense of not thinking doomsday before it even happens. Um, so again, it's all about self-reflection and self-love. Uh, for those of you guys that are completely single right now, what Spirit is saying is work on yourself. It is important to love yourself, to nurture yourself, to take care of yourself. Like I said, if you're inspired be inspired, really tap into that energy that could potentially open new pathways, new doors for you for success, for growth and for love. Now, the person that's coming towards you, Libra, for those of you guys that are single, there is uh, there is this like very whimsical type of energy that I feel. It's almost like a person that is extremely bubbly or extremely positive. Um, 
again, perhaps not the usual type that you would be attracted to. They could come off. Uh, I'm getting the sense of like, I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm getting the sense of like kind of ditzy, um, but ditzy in a positive way because they're extremely positive. And perhaps sometimes uh, they are viewed as ditzy, like I said. Um, but with the courage card, it speaks about a person that has been through a lot that has gone through a lot of difficult things in their lives and they've chosen not to be tainted. They've chosen not to be negative and to be positive and to make way and open their heart and their mind to new beginnings, to a different lifestyle, to a different person. So I see them extremely open and I think you can take that um, as a message, Libra, to be more open-minded, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.